now when i write the print function it tells me something okay we are now able to understand what does print have it has different parameters it says you can give multiple values it can give multiple values and then it gives you a it, give, it has one parameter called as sep it is one parameter called as sep what is the meaning of sep and that value is given a that parameter is given or that argument is given a, a default value what is the default value space default value space which means when i say print 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 okay and then when i close the bracket and when i say enter what happened between 1 and 2 the separation is what between 1 and 2 the separation is between 1 and 2 2 and 3 3 and 4 what is the separation the separation is a space okay so that sep that sep is denoting is denoting the separation the sep is, is is having a default value of space so no i want to change the default value of sep i want to make that you know between two numbers i should have a comma okay between my print values i should have a comma okay i don't want a space then what should i do i should say print 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and i will say comma i need to access which parameter sep sep i need to change sep what will i do i will say i uh, sep i don't want the default value but i want now a new value to be assigned to it that is can i say can i say i can assign in a in a string i need to assign a value comma if i say comma then when i do an enter can you see what gets printed out 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 sir what if i do something like this if i change the sep to something something like this yeah so can you see between 1, 2, 3 and 4? What is it? Did you understand? Is that clear? Now, okay, we, we need to have a look at one, one more default parameter of print. One more default parameter of print. I need to do that in a script. Let's say, let's say I need to print, I need to print, let's say square, square of, I'm going to print square of 3 comma 2, which means I'm calling the I am calling the function which is there above. Yes, this particular function I am giving a call by passing the parameters 3, 2. But and I am and I and I want to and I want to print square of 4, 5. 4, 5. And then and then okay, okay, okay. I want to print square of 4, 5. Okay. The separation between both of them is going to be by default what? Is going to be space is going to be space sir what if i want to change the sep i can change it i can change it by saying comma sep is equal to sep is equal to can i say sep is equal to sep is equal to i can just give a, i can just give a tab okay i'll just give a tab or let me say i give i give something like a colon like and then i want to print after this i say i print i i'm going to print over there let's say this is a demonstration of how to give of how to give or how to change default parameters of print function of print function and then I say enter and then I save it and then I do a function f5 what does it return for me oh wait one second yes it says okay it returns for me square of both the numbers it returns square square of 3 comma 2 that is 5 square that is 25 and then it returns a square that is 4 comma 5 and that is 81 4 comma 5 that is 9 square that is 81 and the separation between these two are semicolon and then you have a print the print the next print is this is a demonstration of how to change default parameters of print function but i had written two print now did i tell the user or did i tell the computer that between these two print functions whatever this fellow is printing and whatever this fellow is printing these two print statements did i tell the computer that please print on separate lines no i didn't tell them to print on separate lines i just gave the two commands it by itself after printing this particular statement it put what it put a it put a enter and then printed the next print statement which means the end of every print statement the end of every print statement is by default and enter is by default and enter and enter in programming is called as a backslash n is called as a 
backslash n. I'll write it in comments here. It is called as a backslash n. Okay, so this is backslash n is is equivalent to a equivalent to a new line. Is equivalent to a new line. So now if I remove this bracket, now if I remove this bracket and I say comma, okay, it's not. And if I press Control O, let's say there is one more parameter which I want to introduce to you. I'll just I'll just show you with another print statement. Okay, so I'm going to say in print, what can I have? Yeah, print has different parameters. Can you see value, comma, dot, 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 comma, sep is equal to this thing. And it says end is what? End is backslash n. End is, end is one of the parameters. End is one of the parameters which is saying, which is saying give a backslash n, which means at the end of the print statements, after printing everything, whatever is there in this print line, at the end, give a backslash n. So can I say over here, when I say print, print, I will say two comma, uh, 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 I'm just printing random values and I say now at, at the end of this don't make it a new line but rather put a space but rather put a space and I can also change the sep sep is also I can make it as a semicolon a sep is also a semicolon and then I say end okay when I say that and then when I save it and then I run it okay see what happens 25 and 81 the end of this is a backslash n which means it makes a new line after this print there is a new line over here because you haven't changed the default parameter but after this after printing 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 with a separation of a semicolon you change the end of that from a from a new line to a space and that is why when you printed the next line it did not print on a new line but it printed after giving a small space after 5 is that very clear how to change the default parameters of print function with this we can understand how to how to change the parameters how to how to give how to give default parameters in functions and with this we are understanding a bit of print function hope we go ahead as we go ahead we will have to use this multiple times hope you are in tune with me and let's go on to the next lesson as we complete this hope you practice well thank you